Hello, Kit Kats. Welcome back to Mist Hold. Um, so a lot has changed since last week. Um, I just got notified from Isabel that my approval rating has just reached 100%. So now I can actually start doing some public works and everything. Um, we've had quite a few new people move in. Um, which you can actually see one in the background right now, which she's kind of cute and I love her. She's dressed like a little superhero. But anyway, so what we're going to basically do today is do all our dailies, like go and check uh, Tom Nook and his area, um, go and dig up some fossils and talk to Mabel um, so that way we can get the QR reader hopefully a little bit quicker. Um, you know, and go buy some stuff and just do some normal things. So let's get started. Well, first off, we're going to talk to her because I actually haven't talked to her since she moved in. Oh, hey, you're Tawny, right? Yeah, I'm Mira. I just moved here, mostly because of you. Are you surprised? Haha, <laughs> don't be. Everyone's excited about you being here and stuff. We can't wait to see what you have planned next for Misthold. Well, thanks for stopping by to say hi, Tawny. It's really nice to finally meet you, Cottontail. So that's our little catchphrase, Cottontail, for me. It's cute. All right, get my uh, shovel because we're gonna go start over here. Always try to start on one uh, side of town to. Oh, there's Eggbert. Let's talk to him. Yawn. Oh, morning, Tawny. I can barely keep my eyes open. Plus, the sun is so bright, it feels like lasers are shooting directly into my brain, doodle duh. So, what can I do for you? What's the latest? Today's fight is shaping up to be an epic bout. In one corner, we have Tawny from Misthold. And in the other corner, we have a stringfish from... Uh... The water. Who will triumph? My money is on you, Tawny. Get that string fish and show it who's boss. I'm on it. Sweet. Good luck, Tawny. Not that you'll need it. So I guess I need to go get a string fish for Mr. Egbert. But we have other pressing matters. Like searching for little X's on the ground. Alright, none over here. Oh, oh. Oh, and um there's one thing I didn't have a chance to show you. Uh it's what I do with the pitfalls. So if you notice every day there's usually about five um X's, I guess you could say, in your town. And they usually, there's a hook need to pull up. Uh, usually four of them are of like fossils and stuff, but there's usually always one that is a pitfall seed. So basically a pitfall seed, it's just a hole in the ground, basically. And you fall into it and it's kind of aggravating, but, um... So what I usually do is I'll dig up every single X I find, usually on the first day, and hopefully I won't accidentally fall into it. Um, but what I usually do is I'll go take that pitfall seed and bury it in a far place in my town that I usually don't go in, like in the corner, top corner usually. Because I hardly ever go there. Um, especially since uh, there's actually a house next to where I put it. So there's no real reason for me to go over in that little corner. It's uh, Wendy's house that's in that corner. Um, like I go there sometimes just to check for other exes. But oh, there's another one. Yeah, we could talk to Vladimir. Cover up that hole and talk to Vladimir. Ah, Tony, Niet. I love that he's like Russian. It's my favorite thing. 
I stayed up late last night, and now I'm sleep deprived, as in Y A W N. So, what's up? At this time of day, in this place, if I just space out for a bit, my mind always drifts to the same thing. How would my life change if I woke up and was suddenly really good at Taekwondo? I suppose just thinking about it makes me pretty darned happy. Meh, close enough, Niet. Alrighty. Apparently he wants to be good at Taekwondo. Well, I don't think there's any way that I can help him. Oh, there's one. <clears throat> Alright, so that was three fossils. Oop. And there's Shep. Shep is one of our new uh, people as well. He moved in like literally the second day I had this town. Hey, how's your morning shaping up, Tawny? Hope it's going to be a good one. Bah, man. So what can I do for you? I've got an idea, Tawny. Can we go to your house right now? I'd like to take a look at your room and see how the classy folk in this town really live. How about it? Sure. Thank you, Tawny. Would you be so kind as to escort me to your lovely house, then? So, this is kind of one of the things I hate is when they uh, want to come to my house. Which, I mean, it's cool, whatever. Come to my house, yeah, sure. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, you gotta basically wait there for him as he checks out, checks out your little house. And I haven't done much to the place because I haven't paid off the first loan yet. Besides the tent loan. Um, so I said, this, thanks for inviting me over. So now basically we just kind of wait for him to, uh, you know, that helped a little bit when Boone was in my house yesterday when I was sat over there. But, oh, excuse me. I'm a little sleepy today. <laughs> just like all the characters in my town. They know anyway, um, last time, yesterday actually, Boone wanted to see my house, and so I basically just went in, laid on my bed, and waited. After a few minutes, he finally was like, oh, oh, look at the time, I gotta go. So, hopefully Boone, uh, Shep will do that in a minute. Come on, Shep. <laughs> ah, there we go. Well, I should really get going now. Thanks for inviting me over today. I had a lot of fun, Tawny. Oh. Alright. Oh, excuse me. I am so sorry for yawning on this stream. Alright. Let's get back to checking for fossils now that Shep is gone. But yeah, a lot of people- oh, and Wendy pegged me. I think my greeting is severely lacking in sparkle. Can you give me a peppier one, Tawny? Sure. Really? Tell me what I should say. Um, give me just a second. I forgot what kind of villager Wendy is. Let me check. I have my little guide. She's peppy. Oh. I don't know what to tell her. Ah. Uh. Heidi Ho? Yeah, sure. Let's go with Heidi Ho. the exclamation point. There it was. Confirm. So, Heidi Ho, what do you think? Perfect. I love it. I feel like a totally new person, Tawny. Oh my goodness. So now she's gonna say Heidi Ho, Tawny, every time I see her. <laughs> it's gonna be great. 
All right, so we were about here looking for fossils. Nothing here, nothing here. Some more flowers. There's a snowball that I can make into a snowman. Alright, let's have some over here. Still haven't sold my fossil that uh, Blathers didn't take from the other day. Um, so, I need to do that later today if he doesn't take any more. But, uh, see, this is what I was talking about. So that little X right there is a pitfall seed. So, see, that's what they look like. And normally what I'll just do is I'll just... Ah, dang it. I'll just go in, click berry. Alright. I'll bury that, and it'll be good. Else. And we're just going to check for some more X's, which doesn't look like to be there any over here. No notices. At least I don't think so. Yeah, the last one was from the third. Oh, I need to water that flower real quick. I definitely don't want any dead flowers in my town because they make me sad. X's, checking for X's. None that I can see over here. Ooh, new person. Who's moving in? This is Cody. I'm not entirely sure what Cody looks like. But we shall see. I think I just saw an X right here. No. Thought I did. Alright, um, let me see. Did I dig up? Yeah, I dug up four fossils. Oh my goodness. That was quick. I thought I I thought I only had three. Alright, well let's go see. Gonna go uptown. And we're gonna go check out Tom Nook's place just to see if he's got any because I want my house to be in the fairy tale style so um, we're gonna see if he's got I already got the fairy tale roof um, is this the fairy tale fence no no it's just the pink fence because um, I want all my house to be in the fairy tale style just because I think it's super cute um, but I have the fairy tale roof and that's about it right now but I haven't had, haven't seen the fairy tale stuff left in the house. Um, left in this area, I mean, not in the house. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to Nookling Junction. And he doesn't really have anything that I really want. Because I already have the shovel. I already have the fishing pole. And I definitely don't need a traffic cone or a bike. So we're going to exit out. Oh, and um, actually yesterday we had the gardening shop open up with one of my favorite new NPCs, um, Leaf. He's a sloth, and I just think that's adorable, because he's so cute. Welcome! And so, he sells trees and saplings, and ooh, he has an axe today, good. Need to get the axe. Um, these break after a few times, but I definitely need an axe to have, uh, you know, in case I want to cut down some trees. 
And then I'm definitely gonna buy the flowers. So, buy those flowers. And then buy those flowers. Oh, I don't have any room in my pockets. Oopsie. Alright, well let me go drop off some of these things at the museum. Um, <clears throat> hopefully Blathers will take a good portion of them. Do, 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 do. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Misthold Museum. Hmm? Who? How may I be of service? Well, assess a fossil. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? We got these four fossils right here. Oh, -hoo. More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Hoo-hoo, all of these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. What a surprise. You have a knack for finding fossils, don't you? I'm incredibly jealous. I hope I can convince you to donate them to Mistholds Cultural Development. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating them, though. Hoo. May I offer any further assistance? And since he wants all these fossils, we're going to give it to him. Let's see, so we're donating a Megacero tail, a T-Rex skull, a Dimitrodon skull, and a Raptor skull. Lots of skulls today. Hoo hoo! Oh, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to put them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Hoo hoo! We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? Nothing. Then please enjoy the rest of your visit. Alright. So, we can actually go look at some of the fossils that we have. Um, as you can see, we got a few... Here, I don't think we actually have any finished ones yet. Triceratops. Nothing here. Nothing here. Like, obviously, we have a few that are like the single fossils. Those are finished. Like, you know, these few right here. Those are finished. Um, but. I'm missing a few. Oh, that one's finished. Let's see. Megacerops. The Megacerops was a mammalian grazer with a Y-shaped horn on its nose. It is a distant relative of the rhinoceros, which the horn helps give away. Its main source of food was soft grass, but climate change caused this food source to disappear. Ultimately, without a thriving source of fresh food, Megacerops joins, joined other creatures in extinction. Oh, so we actually have a finished fossil. That's great. I love it. Alright. Let's see. I think that's the only fossil we have that's finished. Let's see. Yeah, that one's not finished. That one's not finished. Oh, we got more of that guy. Hey, look, there's a character. You don't find all this pretty dry, Tawny. Well, I guess I like it too, Pushy. What would you like to talk about, Tawny? It's a good thing this museum is free to visit. Paying customers would probably be disappointed. If only the people of Misthole would donate more specimens. 
well, why don't you donate them instead of me donating them? Because Lord knows I'm the only one donating crap right now. So, move out of my way. <laughs> Rude. Let's see. Alright, well, let's get back to the main floor. And then we'll go back to... Leaf, go buy that last little packet of flowers. And then we'll go say hi to the Able Sisters. see here that's a happy red pansy bag the price is um ah uh, yes right it's 80 bells are you gonna buy it yes please and so the good thing about this is that since eventually um the garden shop and the nookling junction become one after uh tiy and a few other shops um they become one so like Basically, there's like a um, a price range that you have to buy for each level. Like you have to buy so much stuff each level. So I always buy from the flower shop because they always have good stuff, and I would like my town to be pretty. All right, let's go visit the Able Sisters. Abel, hello, welcome to the handmade fashion palace of the one and only Abel Sisters. And talk to her. Oh, Tawny, you're looking well. How nice. It's very sweet of you to always make a point of stopping by. I feel awful that I've never even had time to make you a cup of tea. I really wish we had more, more, had one more set of claws around. Then I could take the time to sit and chat with you. Oh, now, sis, there you go again, focusing on what we don't have. How can you complain now that Label is back with us? Don't you remember the three of us sisters promised to work hard together from here on out? Tee hee hee, you're right, Mabel. My apologies. Either way, Tawny, even though we don't have much to offer, please feel free to stop by when you can. Mm, nothing too cute today. Let's go see what Label has to offer. Um, I believe that in this one, she changed her name. Her name isn't Label anymore. Oh, pink glasses. Yes. Yeah, she changed her name to La Belle because she went off and um, got like training in fashion. So now she doesn't. She doesn't want to be a label. You know, she doesn't want to be labels, so she's LaBelle instead now. Alright, let's put on the glasses. Super cute! Wow, that cute look is great on you. Just so you know, the price is only 240 bells for this item. What would you like to do? Well, obviously I'm going to keep them on, because they're cute as hell. Put the accessory you had on before with your other items. Sorry. Alright. So now look cute as hell. Oh my god, is that anime eyeglasses? Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized what that was. That's great. Alright. So let's go back into our town. Oops, excuse me. And we are going to go to retail and go sell a few things talk to people along the way if we see them
Oh, hello there. Welcome. How did you get from the museum so fast? The heck. Alright. Well, I know I don't need that horse knuckle or the sea bass or the spino skull. What is this? Green. Oh no, I bought that a while back. So, leave that in there. <laughs> Is this everything then? I'll start crunching the numbers right away. Well then, I could probably part with 4,350 bells for all of it. If that sounds okay with you. Deal. Thank you. Come back with more anytime you like. Let's see. Yeah, it's only Tipper in here. Alright. Thank you. Come again. Alright, so I'm actually going to plant a pear tree or two and plant those flowers. So I do know that I would like these flowers to start in the front of my house. So I'm going to put those plant here and plant. Cute. Oh, and let me water them so that way they'll be good to go. Right. You always want to make sure that they are sparkling, which I think I missed the white violets. What the heck? Alright, there they go. Now they're going to sparkle. Yay. All right, so let's see. Let's go try and find some people. There's Egbert. Doesn't seem like anybody's out today, which is weird because everybody should be out by now. Because it's past like eleven o'clock. Oh. Actually, let's go to the campsite and go see who's there. Yesterday we had Blanca. Blanca's weird. Because she doesn't have a face. It's weird. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. It's a seashell, so I think it's that otter. Yep, it's Lil Otter, Pascal. A philosopher who dispenses pearls of hippie wisdom while collecting literal scallops. Sit at the campfire with this guy if you want your mind blown, dude. Oh, I need that bookshelf. Oh my goodness. I need the bookshelf. Ah, let me just lay here for a second. Alright, so order furniture... Large bookshelf. Only three coupons. Heck yeah. Confirm. Um, let's see. Mm. Mm. Okay. I just need a bookshelf. Cute. All right. Oh, and I love this. You could sit in their chair and then honk the horn. And it gets them so freaked out. They're just like, oh god! <laughs> but yeah, I love them. So I think it's kind of funny that they put this into Animal Crossing. Like, they put the campsite and, you know, stuff into Animal Crossing. Oh, nothing too cute today. But, and then they made Pocket Camp for your mobile device which I think is funny so hopefully um, we'll get a Animal Crossing for the Switch soon which I think would be phenomenal let's see let's see that house was that house yet? No, nobody's there I think that's Vladimir's house Nobody 
somebody's there. Ooh, somebody's in that one. Let's go say hi. I think that's Mira. Or Marina. She's a little octopus. Oh my goodness. Look at all of her stuff. It's so freaking cute. Well, well, if it isn't Tawny, thanks for coming to visit me on this morning. Lerp. So what's on your mind? Want to chat? I was planning to go get Wendy and bring her over to my house, but I'm too busy. If you had time, could you go fetch her for me within the next hour? In the meantime, I'll be getting things ready here. I'm on it. Oh, that's great. Thanks for your help, Blurp. Well, I know Wendy was right outside, so let me go chase her down. Hey, look, it's Wendy. Wendy, hello again, Tawny. What a morning, Lambkins. So what's going on, Lambkins? I came to get you. I'm not sure why Mariana would want to see little old me, but it sounds pretty important. Well, let's get going. I'll follow you to Mariana's place. Hey, look, it's right here. What do you know? Hmm. You're back, and it looks like you were successful. Mariana, I've rushed right over here. What's going on? I just wanted to give back what I borrowed from you last week. Oh, this thing. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? I know. Well, you can borrow it any time. I'm not, like, using it. Okay, well, thanks for bringing me here, Tawny. I gotta, like, dash. But I'll see you both later. Ciao! Okay, Tony, I know you must be busy, but don't go running off yet. I have something for you. I'd like you to have my wash station as a thank you gift. Yay. Thank you so much for your help. Is that a wash station? Oh my god, she has a little toilet, like the Japanese toilet. Oh my goodness, I can't. I can't. I love those little toilets. They're so cute. <laughs> It sounds weird to say, like, a toilet is cute. Alright. Well, let's go look and see. Nobody's home in there. Nobody's home there. Who haven't we seen today? We haven't seen Boone. That's the only one we haven't seen. I don't know where he is. But let's get some Meow coupons. Welcome, this is your new cat machine. Receive coupons. Yay, I got one. In session. Alright. So, we're actually going to change the town tune. Um, I'm going to change it to the... Gravity Falls theme because I think it's super cute and kind of goes with the theme-ish I'm going for. Is there something I can help you with today? Town Tune. Well, the Mistle Town Tune plays in multiple places around town and serves to tell us what time it is. Our current Town Tune is okay, but I always like change. So you have idea if you have ideas for a new one, let me know. Even if you're not a musician, you, could you should try to compose a theme that captures the essence of Mistold. Alright, so let's see. Change this to a C. And then a. A. E. A. C. C G E G 
GCG. What a wonderful theme. It's like music to my ears, literally. I'm sure this will be a big hit with the townsfolk. We'll start using it right away. Now, I haven't gotten with Melissa, um, cause since she won the, uh, town naming contest, she also gets to help design, um, the town flag. So what we're going to do is I might get other people to actually help design the flag and she can also submit a design and then she'll pick one that she likes the best or she could just straight up design one herself. Um, we'll see what goes on with that. All right. Mayor Tawny, I haven't heard anything back from back yet about our, your town development permit. It'll take one day at the very least to get it approved, but it could take a few days longer. I'll let you know as soon as it goes through, so don't worry. Alright, well, we can't do any public works yet, so hopefully by next time we should be able to. Which, I think honestly, it only takes like a day or two at the most. So, let's go find Boone. I wonder if he's on the beach. Let's go see. Let's see. Definitely not over here. I know I should probably be looking for that fish that Egbert says I should be looking for, but I really don't want to. <laughs> nope, he is not at the beach. Oh, Gulliver! Gulliver, mm, Lizzie, but you were my lobster. <laughs> Let me try again. No, today isn't a school day. Yeah, I checked. All right, I need to get him up. Let's go, go, go. No, mom, just give me five more minutes. No, Gulliver, you need to get up. Mm, cinnamon buns are not currency. Not yet, anyways. Come on. No, today isn't a school day. Yeah, I checked. Sleep. Alright, I guess I better leave him alone then. Maybe he'll come too when he wants. And still no Tortimer. So. Just go and walk around town. See if we see Boone. So we need to see him. So he's the last villager I need to talk to. Or townsperson, as uh, Isabel calls him. There's Mira. Hmm. Come on now. Where, oh, where is Boom? Actually, you know what? Let me do something real quick. And this looks like a good spot. Put pear tree. watering that tree. <clears throat> All right. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Where are 
are you? The Goon's house. Okay. We'll make sure. I'm outside training. Okay, it doesn't help me much. He could be anywhere. Okay, over here. I really hate that I only have one bridge in this town. I need to build another one, like right here. Like that would be perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. my lovely singing. <laughs> oh, there's Wendy again, always hanging out by her house. <coughs> and yes, I am still slightly getting over this cold that I've been having for like, you know, a long time. I'm gonna go check up back in the town and see if he's there. Hopefully he is. Checked by the fishies. There's not much in the way of fishies in here, but hopefully, we'll get some fish soon. I'll find him in like the next like minute I'm just gonna be like all right I'm done I did my fossils did my did my other dailies besides find Boone <laughs> oh, Boone go check the fossils and then, oh, thought I turned my phone off guess I didn't <laughs> All right, let me check the fossils. That's where I found Tipper last time. Let's see. She was in the last room of the fossils, but let's see. Aha! I knew he would be in here. Oh, Tawny! It's dark in here, and did I see something moving, baboom? So what's up, lady bro? I want to chat. This is really awesome. Dinosaurs are so big and strong looking. I hope to be one someday. <laughs> oh, boom. Alright, guys. Well, I found all of the villagers found all the fossils and donated them all to the museum and um so now i'm just gonna go back to my house and sign off from there oh dang it i went the wrong way <laughs> whoopsie daisy this way.
But yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing um, for the next, next few weeks is just, you know, going through my dailies, go and visit Nookling Junction, uh, go and visit the Able Sisters, go and look at Tom Nook's home, see if he has the fairy stuff, fairy themed um, stuff. And that's pretty much about it. Um, you know, water and some flowers, and stuff like that. So hopefully next time when we get to play again, we will have some nice uh, public works going and, you know, so hopefully that will happen. And so we'll have another bridge, hopefully, and some other things, and we'll actually have the island opened up. And I'll be able to show you how to hack the island a little bit. So, um, I guess this is it for today. So if you like this video, don't forget to rate, comment, follow, and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see y'all later. Bye!